Well, good morning, everyone. Saturday morning. It's time to uh, time to get back to the bathroom renovation project today, and we have some really specific things that I'd like to get accomplished here with uh, Jen today in the uh, Casa bathroom. Um, quite a few things, actually. I'll bring you in uh, close here, and I'll show you what. Uh, should give you a little bit of an update, and I'll tell you what we want to get accomplished. All right. The first thing you'll notice, I'm standing down on ground level here, so you get a better idea of some of the things that uh, got to be done. The mo one of the important things this week is, you know, we had a lot of rotten wood in this area here, and there's no way that we can. Uh, I guess we could theoretically have cut out the uh, center, that 4x4 four by four, uh, four by four beam, or uh, maybe a 4x6 uh, beam. Uh, one of the big support beams here, you can see the uh, column footing there. And But it had a lot of rod that I, would, I didn't want to go ahead and try to uh, sister in a new piece. So what we did was use a really good grade of uh, prep, the uh, pre-mixed floor patch, and this stuff works great. And Jennifer came in, uh, oh, I think Monday, and put an application on it. And I came back and sort of topped everything up. And now it's perfectly smooth. You may say to yourself, well, why do you need to uh, worry about that? You're just going to overlay uh, plywood on top of that, which is true. But one of the things you got to remember is that uh, under underlayments, what's under the floor, it's like the uh, prince and the pea, right? He, Every time he kept putting another mattress on top because he could still feel the pee, the little pee underneath of it. Uh, well, it's the same thing, uh, same thing kind of here. When you have uh, unevenness or depressions, and we would have had about a one and a half inch depression, eventually that would have telegraphed itself up through the floor in the course of walking on it, rolling on it with a wheelchair. General day-to-day -day use, the uh, tiling and the floor would have gradually gotten depressed and sort of tried to fill down to those low spots. The result would have been that we would have probably cracked a tile and some other things here, and we don't want to uh, don't want to do that. So better to err on the side of caution and go ahead and level that up. Now that's perfectly dry. All we got to do is uh, smooth that out a little bit with the chisel on the sides make sure it's perfectly flush that's real the other thing we need today to do today is get the uh, get the uh, plumbing roughed in so you remember down here we've got the uh, PEX uh, well we have PEX connecting but we have the connections but we have the old galvanized pipe connections down there and right now they're just capped off down there with uh, inserts male inserts into the uh, into the connectors where the um, pipes terminate. That's just keeping the water pressure up in the rest of the house. So we have to turn the water off again today and we've got to go ahead and run our PEX lines. We're going to be running a hot, a cold, and we're going to be running a uh, line for the toilet over here. And we're going to come up through that stud probably and then over and behind. And then we're going to be running uh, two. You can see where the uh, new drain line is for the sink and everything. We're going to be running up uh, two, uh, two drain, two uh, hot and a cold for that. So we got five feed lines that have to go up there. Remember, we roughed in all the draining with the uh, drains with the venting. We used the uh, Fernco couplings to uh, get everything hooked up real good. Uh, then we've got to get the uh, drain set and get these uh, boards screwed down because we want to set we want to be able to set our wall here and what we did here in terms you can see a little small mark here we drew a line that was 16 inches to give ourselves uh, some extra space for finished wall over here and this wall will begin right here there'll be a two by four uh, half wall coming well, there'll be a full wall but it'll be going half the distance over here and we measured, and that'll still give us about a 38, 37 inch shower in there, which is a 7 or 8 inch gain over what we were going to have. So that's uh, fantastic. Plus our uh, plate, will, uh, our floor sole plate, our, uh, we'll be laying, when we go to put up this wall, this plate will be laying perfectly on a lot of uh, really good support here. So that will be, uh, be excellent, and then we'll worry about making the connections up top this uh, is probably going to have to be moved uh, sad to say we're going to have to close that up and secure some drywall on top 
And it'd probably be best to move the heater to a location, that outlet over there. So I don't know if we'll get to that today, but certainly we can finish the uh, we can finish the rough plumbing and get things secured. Now this drain, you're looking at this drain, and you may be thinking to yourself, this is uh, uber complicated, and it kind of is because it comes apart in uh, in multiple sections here, and there is a reason for that. If you see the black flange on the bottom. That is designed so that that goes at the uh, floor level, your rough floor level. Then when you put the then when we put the first coat of uh, we build the mortar bed in here, and it'll be sloped towards the drain. We're going to put a vinyl barrier, what they call a uh, liner, shower liner, in there. It's a very thick piece of uh, vinyl. And uh, once we secure that down, we're going to put the white flange on top of that and screw that down. And that's going to give a waterproof uh, shower pan in there. Then when it comes time to, uh, then we're going to go ahead and mortar on top again with a second load of mortar. And then we're going to screw this down and get this position to a height and bring the mortar to it. And the last thing we'll do, you can see two screws here, is uh, we'll screw this back on at the proper level and then we'll put our finished tile on so we're gonna to have to make some measurements so for the toilet here we want the toilet to be actually this flange to be able to go at uh, at the floor finish grade in other words we're gonna set this uh, flange three quarters of an inch higher than the floor that'll allow us to put the uh, plywood under layman under it, as well as uh, prep for the uh, tile and that will we'll make sure to tile around the uh, flange, but that will set that at the proper height for the toilet to be on top. So there's some critical, uh, there's definitely some critical measurements to be made here. We don't want to get through this and have set a toilet and then have it leak out the side. So, you know, we want to get everything all positioned, all the ABS on all the uh, piping that we have. We want to set that uh, today and get that uh, bonded together. So... First thing we're going to do today is we're going to address this uh, drain issue because I'd really like to be, I'm going to be on the ground some today doing uh, PEX hookups. Uh, I don't know if I'll close that first, uh, depends what Jennifer's doing, but at least I can go ahead and prepare the, uh, I can prepare the hole in the top uh, board that's going to come up. So. Uh, then we'll mount the uh, flange, the black flange and the uh, make sure that's all secured below. I got the uh, fittings to be able to make that the uh, proper height connection. So having said all that, it's time to get on it guys. The bathroom renovation rolls. Alright, you can see I've done the uh, cutting and adjustment I need to get the proper height so this is going to sit uh, flush on top. So I'm going to go ahead and prepare my uh, my three quarter inch plywood insert now and then I'm going to go ahead once that once I get the hole cut out I'm going to uh, go ahead here and uh, screw that in and uh, this is a screwed connection to the bottom and then I'm going to go ahead and set this lower flange for the shower drain but before we uh, go ahead and set it we're going to make sure that she uh, we're going to make sure she drains out real good okay always smart i don't want to do a lot of connection and now then oh shit it's not drain okay the insert has been cut now it's just a question of uh, marking it making the measurements to where the center of the uh, drain connector is from uh, both directions from here and here and where those lines cross, we'll uh, open that up and then probably have to expand that a little bit, get the right size with, uh, use the jigsaw, to, the uh, saber saw to cut that out. Okay, guys, I got the cut out somewhere here. There it is. And you can see I got the cut basically made for the uh, drain, but the next thing I got to do, you see it has some uh, little ears on the bottom here. And what I do when I want to find the location with them is I take a little bit of lipstick and then I'm going to uh, press it down here and where the lipstick is is where those little uh, those little holes are going to be have to be uh, rounded out a little bit to allow this uh, flange to sit nice and flat. Don't mind the uh, don't mind the beer can. Yeah, you can see that uh, that worked pretty good. 
the locations where uh, where we're gonna be uh, probably get my uh, little uh, I don't know what the hell you call it zip saw and get in there and uh, roto zip yeah and uh, widen them out a little bit get the uh, roto zip set here Perfect. It just has to get it down there, and you can see those, uh, those ears fit perfectly on there on the underside. And that's the way you do it. You use a little lipstick to get your positioning Sweet. on there. See that? Very good. So what we're going to do now, we can't uh, screw this down with the ears in there, so we're going to separate this. I did not glue this connection here. So we're going to uh, separate that, then we're going to screw down the flange, we're going to go, uh, well the first thing actually we're going to screw this into the uh, lower P-trap, and then we're going to uh, screw this on the top, and then we'll push and make that, I'll have you stand on top and I'll push from the bottom, we'll ABS that and just push that up in that joint, and then we'll call it a uh, day. But before we're going to do that, what are we going to do? We're going to test the water. Right. Okay, we'll see you inside. Okay. So I've got a good uh, yeah. test gallon yeah. water here. Yeah, I'll give it a probably shot. get a lot of Christmas bells. Big ones. So they, you know, are like something that's going to be very loud. So when Thanks the branches are disturbed, the, uh, and then well. the bells are going to start going, and then that might scare them off. You can hear it draining it's over here. It's a lot easier than you like the fence. Okay, if any of our listeners can be assured now, we can go ahead suggestions, and hope this down. Us, um, but I think before we uh, uh, cook this down, activity, actually it's no big deal to, to, have to deal with that very often, thing but, uh, to lay under there and make those uh, connections. I really well, can't you know, do anything with that above. You know, like for jokes, you know, people would hang a bucket of water over the door. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and close this up. I'm going to unscrew this, take it apart, oh, that's too bad. and we're going to do the, uh, we're going to do the final hook down here. Yeah, you need really to separate that. Fruit, so you're good to go. Pass that on to Are you excited? Anybody else that still has fruit on the tree that is not in our midst? All right, even I, the great Rosie, make mistakes. Yes. Right. So I had to recut this because I measured off of the inside uh, lower uh, two by four ridge instead of the outside. But we're all set now, and you can see we've got pretty darn good alignment down below, which is excellent. So we'll be able to uh, shift that into position to make that uh, to make that connection. All right, guys. You can see underneath. I've now made the connection. I got Jennifer standing on top. We are secure. We're going to secure the perimeter of the wood, and everything's looking good. It was a really a close press fit, but that's totally fine. So, yeah, looking good. So I want to put some blocking. It's no good. You just screw through three quarter inch plywood. I should also put some two by four. Uh, blocking or some things to hold on to for better grip down here. Alright, so we're on. 